for your warm up today, we have three different exercises. You have quad runners and then fire hydrants on your right side and then fire hydrants on your left side. So that mini band is gonna go right above your knee, right above your knee, okay? Um, for your quad runners, oh, for your quad runners, you're gonna be on all fours. Those knees are hovering off the ground and you're just straightening out those legs. Let those knees kind of tap the floor and then straighten them all the way back out, okay? That's your first one. Your second one is going to be a fire hydrant. So you're going to be down on all fours. You're just pulling that band out. We're doing your right leg first. We'll be there for 40 seconds and we'll switch over and then we'll do our left leg, okay? So we're going to be here for quite a bit of time. Um, get those bands on. If you don't have bands, totally fine. You don't need it. You'll still get the same burn even without. You'll just get a little bit more if you do have bands. All right, guys. Starting with those quad burners going in three. Two and one. Let's go, ladies. And Ricardo. Hey, Steph, good morning. Hey, Laura. Starting with quad burners, guys. You can keep those bands on those knees the entire time for a warm up, at least. There we go. Good. Nice, Millie. Awesome job, guys. Settle in here. Nothing too fast, nothing drastic just yet. Got about 10 more seconds. Morning, Michelle. Morning, Sally. And two and one. Take it down to those knees, guys. We're going into this fire hydrant's right side, pulling that band apart. Morning, Jessica. Good, awesome work, guys. Pull that band, don't let those knees snap back together. I want you to slow that movement back down. Awesome work. Great job, guys. Nice, Rachel. There we go, Sally. Good, Sydney. And three, two, and one. Switch over left side. or the opposite side you were just doing. Not sure which one you were on. Yep, there we go. Pull that band apart. Don't let those knees snap together. I want you to control it. Resist that band. Awesome job, guys. Focus on your backs, focus on your shoulders. As you pull that knee open, don't let that, uh, don't let yourself dump down into your shoulder. You wanna keep your arms kind of straight. Shoulders should be nice and squared. Just letting that leg, you do all the movement. Going back to the squad burners in three, two, and one. Back to all fours. Knees just tap the ground, just straighten those legs out. Nice, Laura, good work. Awesome job, guys. Nice, Alicia. Good, Millie. Nice, Beth. Good, Catherine. There we go, guys. Looking good, Michelle. Keep it going, Ricardo. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Back into that right side. Pulling that knee apart. There we go, good. Nice, Alicia. Nice, Sally, good stuff. Pull that knee up. Awesome work, guys. 10 more seconds. Keep pulling, keep pulling, switching over to that other leg in four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys, switch over other leg. We'll have one more round after this. Awesome job, watch those shoulders. Don't let those elbows bend, guys. Doing good, doing good. Halfway through. Keep it going, Kim. Ten more seconds. And five, four, three, 
two and one. Last time on the quad burners. Let those knees tap, just straighten those knees out. Squeeze the quad, front of those legs. Awesome work, guys. Doing good, 6.30, keep it going. There we go. Good work, guys. 10 more seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Back into those fire hydrants. Pull that band apart. Morning, Celine. Awesome job, guys. Pulling, keep pulling. Good work, good work. 10 more seconds. Down to five, four, three, two, and one. Last time on your other leg. Morning, Catherine. Awesome job, 6.30. Let's get it done, guys. Pull those bands. Remember, don't let those knees snap in. Good job, guys. Keep going, keep going. You got this, Ricardo. Fifteen seconds. Final 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. All right, on those feet, let's go box your stance, keep those legs moving. So for today, we have lower body strength and plyo, okay? So for each set, you're gonna have two exercises, okay? So I'm only gonna demo each one as we get to it, that way we don't get too um, overwhelmed. Uh, I think my internet connection's frozen because you guys are all frozen. Um, there we go, okay, I think I'm back. Am I unfrozen? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me because all of you guys went frozen, so. All right, guys. So um, I was hoping you could hear me. So if a strength and a plyo exercise combined together, we'll complete that entire exercise before we move on to the next one. So I'll only demo each one as we get to it. Your first one's gonna be a wall sit march. Every single strength exercise will require a weight. If you have one, if not, it can be done body weight. No worries there. Wall sit marches and pickups are first. You'll be going 90 seconds with your strength exercise and then 45 seconds with plyo. So starting with those marches, dumbbells are gonna be on those knees, lifting up this foot. Feet, just marching it out, you'll be here for 90, okay? The second one, you'll put those weights down, you'll have pickups, tap the floor, jump those feet together. You'll be there for 45 seconds. You have two full rounds before we move on to our next set of exercises, okay? Let's find that wall sit, grab those weights on those knees, marching in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Here for 90 seconds, guys, 90 seconds. Get nice and comfortable. Focus on those hips, drop those legs, drop those hips down in uh, parallel with those knees. Make sure you're nice and low in that wall sit. If you were to let go of your weights, they shouldn't be able to move anywhere. Here we go, guys. March it out, march it out, march it out. Nice, Millie. Good, Alicia. Awesome job, guys. Good, Jess. Great work, guys. Stay tough here. Nice, Laura. Good, Cindy. Sydney, sorry. Keep it going, Sarah. Good, Catherine. Keep marching, Beth. You got this, Kim. Nice and low of those wall sits, guys. 30 more seconds. Stay in it. No need to straighten those legs. We'll be jumping it out in a second. Awesome work, guys. 20 seconds here. We're gonna go straight into those pickups in 15 seconds. You'll just drop this, put those weights down right beside you. You've got 10, nine, keep marching, keep marching. Pick those feet up. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Weights off to the side, going right into those pickups. Touch the floor, click those heels together. 
Here we go. Good, Catherine. Nice job, guys. 45 seconds here. We're going right back to those wall sits. Good stuff. If we want to turn these into Irish pickups, if we want to get a little air under those feet, feel free to. If you just need a warm up, get a little bit more warmed up with those plyo exercises, that's totally cool too. About 20 seconds left, guys. Quick on the plyo, quick on the plyo. Those legs are going to burn and then we're going to make them move quick all throughout the workout. This is what it's going to be. You'll have strength followed by a plyo. 10 more seconds. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Quick on those, quick on those pickups. Chest is tall. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Back to those walls. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. March it out, march it out, march it out. Drop those hips down nice and low. Last time we're here. Good work, guys. I really want you to sink those hips lower. For those of you who I can see, I want all those hips a little bit lower. And then make sure those feet, walk those feet backward toward the wall behind you. You want your heels right underneath of your knees. So if you feel like you're pushing forward, if your toes are gonna pop through the front of your shoes, you've gotta walk those feet further back. You wanna have even distribution all the way throughout your foot in a wall sit. Good work, guys. Keep it going. Nice, Jess. Good, Rachel. Keep marching it out, guys. Looking good, looking good. There we go. More than halfway, well more than halfway. We only have 30 seconds left, guys. Stay in that wall sit. Come on, come on, Sally, bend those knees. Stay down. There we go. Good, Michelle. Keep marching, Ricardo. Good, Celine. Good, awesome work, ladies. Keep it going, Catherine. We've got 10, nine, keep marching, eight, keep those feet close, seven, six, five, four, stay in it, stay in it, three, two, and one. There we go, guys, Wait, down, go right into those pickups. There we go. Let's get some Irish pickups if you can. Click those heels, nice, Laura. Awesome job, Michelle. Keep that chest nice and tall, guys, as we go down to the floor, just tap it. Chest should be lifted, hips should be low. There we go, Sarah, good. Nice, Jess. Good speed, Jess, looking good. Keep it going, Sally. Good, Kim. Keep moving, Catherine. Awesome work, guys. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. Burn it up, burn it up. You've got five, four, three, two and one great job guys all right next set we have prisoner squat okay grabbing those weights you're going to be on those knees stepping up to those feet so weight is going to be at your chest from here you're going to step up to your feet and then you're taking it right back down to those knees up to your feet right back down to your knees staying low the entire time okay that is your strength exercise so no plyo there we're not doing knees to feet we're already on a true prisoner squat your second one is going to be jump squat so um I'll go sit nice and low. From there, big jump at the top. So that position you landed in when you were in those prison squats, that will, that's how low you've got to be when you're taking off from your squat. Start there, land there. Same format as before, 90 seconds, 45 seconds, starting with those prisoner squats. Grab those weights, load them up. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, 90 seconds. Sometimes it might feel more comfortable to put that weight on your shoulder. Just kind of depends on where you are. If you can balance out with it at the front, keep it at the front. If you need a little bit more stability, keep it behind you. Awesome work, ladies. Nice, Laura. There we go, Jess. Good, Rachel. Keeping the hips down, guys. Keep the hips low. No need to stand all the way up. You'll get to do that on your jump squats. Great work, guys. We're halfway through. Nice, Beth. Good, Alicia. You got this, Sarah. Come on. There we go. Good. Step up each time. Nice, Steph. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Nice, Michelle. Stay low. Let those legs burn up. 
20 seconds left, guys. Awesome work, awesome work. 15, keep marching, keep marching, keep marching. Let's try to get about five more. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Place that weight by your side, going right into those jump squats. Big jump off the floor, let's go. Sink those hips down, sink those hips down. Land nice and low, jump high, land nice and low. Absorb every single time you land. Don't land with straight legs, guys. Good, Jess. Keep it going, Kim. Nice, Michelle. Awesome work, guys. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice and quick, nice and quick. We've got about 25 seconds left. Let's shoot for about 20 more reps. Go, 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 go. Good, Millie. Sink lower, sink lower. Here we go. Awesome. Sarah, drop those hips lower too. Awesome. There we go. Good, Sally. Get those legs moving. Nice, Catherine. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those weights. Going right back to those prisoner squats. Back into those prisoner squats. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Keeping those legs nice and low as we stand up. Weight can be on the front or you can load it up on your shoulders. Totally your call. Good. Keep marching it out, Ricardo. Let's lean. Nice, Catherine. Up to the seat, right back down, guys. Keeping those hips down, keeping those hips down. Nice, Rachel. Good work, guys. I know most of you are doing it, but when you're going into those prisoner squats, try to alternate the leg that you stand up on each time. Forty-five seconds left, halfway. Doing good, guys. Great job, great job, great job. There we go, there we go. Keep those hips down, keeping those hips down. Back is nice and flat. Awesome work, come on, 6.30, let's move. Keep it going, keep it going. Stay low in the squats, keep those hips low. Keep those hips low. 15 seconds left. Great job, guys. We're down to 10, nine. You got this, Alicia. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Weights down, jump, squats right into it, guys. Jump it out, jump it out, jump it out. Sink those hips down. Come on, guys. There, awesome work. Nice, Sydney. Good, Alicia. Keep going, Kim. There we go. Good work, guys. Keep the ply in there. Come on. Push for it. It's not going to come easy. You've really got to push here. 15 seconds. Keep it going, Sally. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7. Come on, Ricardo. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, guys. All right, now we get to lay down. Now you get to lay down. All right, the first one's gonna be a glute bridge. So that weight is gonna go right over top of those hips. You're gonna have it weighted. Biggest thing with your glute bridge, I don't want you guys to rest on the ground, okay? I want it to just be like a small little tap every time you go. So weight is on those hips, driving those heels into the floor, just lifting those hips up, letting it tap the floor. If you wanna do elevated glute bridge, if that's more comfortable for you, um, feel free to put those feet up onto a box or a wall or something like that. Your plyo exercise is gonna be speed skaters. So for your speed skaters, you're gonna be pushing off of one leg, let that back foot tap behind you, just going side to side here, letting the outside of those legs burn up. Um, for those speed skaters, if you can land and push off of one leg and not let that back leg touch the floor, that would be your modification up, okay? All right, guys, starting with those um, glute bridges, I'll give you a couple of seconds just to get onto your feet, um, but not much time. So starting in three, two, and one, let's go. Make sure we're going heavy here for these glute bridges, guys. Good 
Nice lean. Good, Michelle. Really focus on tightening the glutes in the back of your body, okay? You don't want to overextend in the lower back. There shouldn't be any arching. Just tighten those muscles in the back. Pull it right back down. Just squeeze that. That's what's going to lift those hips up off the floor, those glutes. That's your, that's your booty. <laughs> awesome work, guys. Nice, Ricardo. Keep it going, Kim. Looking good. Awesome job, guys. 25 seconds. Good, Alicia. Nice, Millie. Good work, Beth. 15 seconds. Don't let those hips rest on the ground, guys. Don't rest those hips. We've got 10. Keep it going, Sally. Down to five, four, three, two, and one. Weights off to the side. We're gonna start the speed skaters on those feet, jumping side to side. Try to land on one foot, take off of one foot, going in three, two, and one. Let's go. That lateral movement. Try to keep that back leg off the ground if you can. There we go. Or just a nice light tap. Nice Sydney. Good, Sarah. Good, Jess. Good, Sally. Good reach. Awesome distance there. Good, ladies. Big push off of that foot. Push hard off of that outside foot so you're moving laterally as far as you can go. Nice, Catherine. Yeah, if you have a mat underneath of you guys, work to clear that mat. Great work, guys. we got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Grab those weights, going back into that glute bridge. Really try to keep those hips off the ground the entire time. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those hips lifted. No resting at the bottom, guys. Just a quick tap, quick tap. Stay activated the entire time. Nice, Catherine. Keep it going. There we go, guys. Nice, Millie. Awesome work, Sarah. Very good. Great job, 630. We're halfway through. Good work, guys. Keep squeezing those glutes. Activate through the backside. Make sure those heels are pushed into the floor. Twenty seconds left. Good work, guys. Nice, Steph. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Back on those feet. Got those speed skaters. Weights off to the side, going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right into it, guys. Big push, big push off to the side. As far as you can, you want to get the good lateral distance here. There we go. Awesome job, guys. Good, Beth. Yeah, Millie. There we go. Getting that back leg up, guys. Nice, Rachel. There we go, Jess. Looking good, guys. 15 seconds. Good, Steph. There we go. Good, good, good. Nice, Laura. Try to travel a little bit more distance, Laura. Really push. There we go. There we go. Got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. All right, next set, we are moving into our calves, moving to the bottom of our legs. All right, guys, calf raises. So um, weight is gonna be weight is gonna be at your chest or behind your neck to lay your column where you go, or you, you could actually have it down by your side, but it's just better if you load it up on top of your shoulders. 
So from here, you're just going traditional calf raise, toes are pushing down, heels are looking up. If you really start to burn out and you want to switch, you can go into those three different variations, toes turned out, toes turned in. Um, I'm not going to require that. So if you feel good just burning it out, going more of that neutral calf raise, um, just stay right there, okay? If you want to change it up, if you really start to get tight in that one area in the back, um, then move into your toes turned out or your toes turned in. All right, the next one, you're gonna have volley tips. So we'll be up on those toes. Then you'll just be popping through those feet. The goal here is to try to keep those legs as straight as you can the entire time. Core needs to stay nice and tight while you're going through those volley tips. All right, guys, lots of calf activation. 90 seconds on with those calf raises, going in three, two, and one. Let's go. If you have a ledge, if you wanna add a little bit of a negative decline on here, you can step up onto a ledge or a curb or whatever you may have. Nice and high on those toes. Try not to pop, uh, like, um, try not to fall back onto those heels. Resist or push on the way up and then resist on the way back down. Don't let, your just, don't let yourself just like fall out of the sky. <clears throat> Looking good, guys. Halfway through. Nice, Rachel. Good, Sally. Focus on keeping those knees nice and straight while you're going to that calf raise. If those knees start to bend. You're gonna miss the glute activation. Legs are nice and straight the whole time, whole time. Minimize the bouncing, guys. Minimize that bouncing. 15 seconds left. Good job, guys. Let it burn, let it burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down. Going to those volley tips. Go ahead, let's get started. Hop on those toes, legs are straight. Good, keeping those legs nice and straight, just bouncing through the ankles. Knees are slightly soft, slightly soft in the knees. You don't want to absorb too much. Let those ankles do most of the work. Great job, guys. We're about halfway through. Try to keep those heels off the ground through those tips. There we go, good, good, good. Stay elevated on those toes. You got this, Ricardo. Nice, Kim. We've got 10, nine, eight, good, lean, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys, grab those weights. Starting again in five, four, three, two, and one, let's go. Don't let those heels, try to hover those heels off the ground. Control it on the way up, resist it on the way back down. Legs should be nice and straight. Good. No bouncing at the bottom. Nice job, Beth. Good, Millie. Nice, Sarah. Looking good, Catherine. Keep it moving, Ricardo. Really push down through those feet, guys. Try to get those heels as high as you can off the floor. Stiletto pumps in the club. We'll work our calves out. Got it, ladies. 35 seconds. Good, Jess. Heels nice and high, guys. 30 seconds. Good work, Steph. Awesome job, guys. Let's go, keep it going, keep it going. Keep lifting, try not to pause at the bottom. 12 seconds, down to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down, go right into those volley tips, up on those toes, pop it out. Arms can be on those hips, arms can be up, wherever your arms feel comfortable. Awesome job, core is nice and tight, core is nice and tight. Legs are pretty straight, soft, soft, soft bend in those knees, okay? Most of your focus is through the ankle. 
Up on those toes, up on those toes. There we go, there we go. Awesome job, guys. 20 seconds left. Keep it going, Kim. Good, great job, guys. 10 seconds. Little pops through those toes, pop through those toes. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, Leah. All right, guys, next one. We are moving into RDLs. We have two more exercises left, two more. So we're definitely more on the back end of it. We have RDL next. Oh, I'm frozen again. Go, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, RDLs, grabbing both of those weights. So Romanian deadlift. Um, for this one specifically, the goal, the biggest focus has to be your back when you're in this motion, okay? You wanna keep your spine as straight as you possibly can. So as you start to lower, those weights are gonna be right in front of those legs. You're gonna hinge those hips backwards. Your chest is gonna be slightly forward. You'll have a slight bend in the knee. You're gonna take the weights down right to where you start to feel a good pull in the hamstrings. And you're gonna tighten your glutes to pull that weight back up, okay? And slowly let those weights follow those legs like you're shaving and then pull your pants on, all right? So hips go backwards, soft bend in the knee, back is nice and flat. Okay, those are your biggest three technique um, things with those. The, your, bra, or, um, your plyo is gonna be a broad jump. So we'll put those weights down, big jump forward, turn it around, same thing on the way back, going back and forth with that broad jump movement. Okay, let's grab those weights, load up for those RDLs. Big focus here on legs, I will be critiquing a lot on these, okay? Going in three, two, and one, let's go. There we go, nice Millie. Really wanna protect these backs, guys. You've gotta send those hips backwards first. Keep that chest nice and pushed forward. Create a nice, straight, neutral spine. Good, Sarah. You're gonna take that weight slowly down on the way back up. It's like you're pulling your pants on and you tighten your glutes. When your glutes um, tighten, just like in your glute bridge, it will make your hips come back into that straight line. Awesome job, guys. Slow and controlled on the way down. You can move a little bit faster on the way up. So you'll go about half speed on the way down, about normal speed on the way back to the top. Inhale slowly on the way down. Exhale as you pull. There we go. Nice, Sally. Backs nice and flat. Keep those chests pushed forward. Roll the shoulders back. Roll, really pinch those shoulder blades together. That'll ensure that your spine stays more neutral. Nice, Michelle. There we go. Yes. Slow on the descent. A little bit quicker on the ascent. Nice, Rachel. There we go. Make sure those hips are pushing back behind those heels. 10 seconds left. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Put those weights off to the side just a little bit and going into those broad jumps. Go ahead, let's get going. Big push forward, turn it around, big jump back. If you have enough space to do multiple broad jumps, that's totally fine. If you are not doing that high impact, we're going into, yep, we got those monster rocks already going. There we go. Good, Sally. Big push all the way through those toes, guys. Really try to extend the body as you're pushing that you get that broad jump. Good, Catherine. Nice, Rachel. Awesome work, guys. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. All right, weights back up. Moving right back into those RDLs, pushing those hips back. Shoulders should be pulled back. Chest is a little bit puffed out, going in three, two, and one. Nice and controlled here, Want to protect those lower backs. Slow on the way down, like a two second count, and then a one second count on the way back to the top. Squeeze those glutes to pull those weights back up. Stay close to the legs, let those weights travel down the shins until you start to feel a pull in the back of your legs. There we go. Some of us might have a little bit more flexibility to even go a little bit lower. The goal there is to focus on that back, keep the back as straight as you can as you start to lower down toward the floor. Nice, Michelle. Good, Jess. Pinch those shoulder blades. Nice, Alicia. Very good, guys. 
Good, Millie. There we go, good, Sarah. 30 seconds left. Second round's looking really good, guys, on these. Pinch the shoulder blades back as you start to go down. Keep those backs, back muscles engaged. There we go, sending those hips backwards. Weight should be in those heels. You should feel like you're possibly gonna fall back. 10 seconds. Those hips being pushed back will counterbalance you though. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Weights down right into those broad jumps. Big push forward, big push forward. Let's go. Nice, Sally. Awesome job, guys. Good, Beth. Go, Ricardo. Big jump. Nice lean. Good, Laura. If we're in those monster walk, guys, walk, drop those hips down, stay nice and low. 10 more seconds here. You got this, Kim. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. All right, the last exercise is bilateral. So the first round will be either on your right or left, and then the second round you'll switch legs, okay? So we're not gonna be switching halfway. You have a split squat with a triple pulse. So the triple pulse will be at the bottom. One weight in either hand. Biggest thing with triple pulse, you're not, you don't have your weights on either your back foot or your front foot, okay? You are totally split in your stance. So most of your weight's going through both of your feet equally, and your hips should be right over the middle of the floor. Okay, from here, make sure that toes turn downward. You're going down to the bottom into this lunge position, triple pulse at the bottom, one, two, three, and then just straighten both of those legs back out. Triple pulse, one, two, three, straighten those legs right back out, okay? So you'll be on one side the first time, the other side the second time. Your um, plyo here is gonna be a jump lunge, so just switching those legs out into that jump lunge. 45 seconds on that burnout. All right, guys. Choose which leg you want to start with first. Don't forget the triple pulse at the bottom. Knee is just hovering. Good wide stance. You should have a good, pretty A-frame at your legs. Going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Looking good, guys. Wide stance there. Keep that chest nice and lifted. Try not to lean forward as you drop into that into, into that um, squat. Chest is nice and tall. Shoulders over your hips. Hips over literally nothing. When that back knee bends, your hips will then stack under or over top of that back knee. Nice job, guys. Nice, Laura. That looks great. Commit to that one leg, guys. Got about 30 seconds left here. Stay on that side, stay on that side. Don't let yourself shake it out. 20 more seconds. Nice, Michelle. Good, Catherine. Let's sink a little bit lower, guys, into the split squats. Let that knee just hover off the floor. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Put those weights just off to the side and get right into those jump lunges. Let's go. Right into it, right into it. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Nice job, guys. Put it in your brains, it's only 45 seconds. We're working hard. Commit to that plyo. If not, turn it into some sort of like little hoppy skip. I don't care. Just make sure we're getting a little bit of air under those feet each time. Try your best not to have to like walk it out. If you do, totally fine though. Really commit to that plyo into this workout. 15 seconds left. Doing good, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, guys. All right, grab those weights again. Right back into the split squat. Other side this time. Make sure you're on the other side. You don't want one leg stronger than the other. Going in 3, 2, and 1. Let's go. Triple pulse at the bottom, nice and low. Stack those shoulders, stack those hips. Nice, Sydney. There we go. Back into it. Good, Sarah. Awesome job, Rachel. 
Looking good, Michelle. Keep it going, Ricardo. Good, Jess. Nice, Allie. Good, Steph. Awesome work, guys. There we go. Looking good, Millie. Good, Alicia. There we go. Nice and balanced. Awesome work, ladies. Good, Celine. Stay nice and low, nice and low. About 30 seconds, a little less than 30 seconds. Awesome job, Rachel. Keep going, Laura. We're down to 10. Stay in it, Steph. You got this. You got seven, six, five, four. Good, Catherine. Three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Right into those jump squats. Let's go. Switch and switch. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Get it moving, get it moving. Awesome job, guys. Try to get that little hop in there. Awesome, there we go, there we go. We are halfway through, guys, halfway through. On to our finisher after this. Looking good, looking good, 20 seconds. Great push, guys. Sink low into those jump squats. Sink low into those jump squats. Seven seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. All right, great job. Shake it out really quick. We have um, an E, oh, oh, sorry. We have Toes of Sky is our finisher today. Okay, that was written in the protocol. So it's a little bit more jumping for your finisher. We're gonna do an EMOM. We only have three rounds, okay? Um, your goal, oh, I froze again. Yep, there I am. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so we're doing an EMOM for your Toes of Sky. You have to get 45 within a minute in order to earn that rest. We're only going three rounds though, okay? So for your Toes of Sky, um, you're in that squat position, chest is nice and tall, shoulders are over top of your knees, which are over top of your toes. Touch those toes, reach up for the sky, repeat it over and over and over again. You're going as quick as you can. You're working for those 45 reps, okay? One minute, any of that extra time is yours to rest. The rounds are going to be continuous, so there's no gonna, not going to be any stopping in the middle. If you get done early, you get extra rest time. We're going in three, two, and one. 45, toes to sky. Nice and quick. If you go one second per rep, for one second per rep, you'll have 15 seconds of rest after. Awesome job, guys. If we're not jumping off the ground, make sure we raise up onto those toes as we reach for the sky. Good, Jess. Nice and quick. Yes, Allie. Get through those reps, guys. Get through those reps. One fluid motion from the bottom to the top. Dropping it down, drop it up. Up and down, up and down, as quick as you can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Awesome work, guys. Got 12, 15 seconds left now. Keep going, keep it going, keep it going. Get those 45 reps. We're down to five, four, three, two, and one. Right into it, round two, let's go. Good, 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 good. Only here for three total minutes. You have less than two now. Let's go. Everything that's left in those legs, this is where we're gonna burn it up. Nice, Michelle. Good, Ricardo. Come on, Kim. Nice and quick here, nice and quick. Good, Millie. Get those reps, guys, get those reps. Come on, Alicia, stay in it. You got this. There we go. Nice, Sydney. Good, Sarah. Nice and quick, Catherine. Awesome job, guys. Go, Sally, go. Come on, Rachel, you got this. We won't get those reps by standing still, ladies. Great job, great job. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Awesome work, come on. No breaks until we're done. Get those reps. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Final round, let's go. Right into it, come on. Start moving, start moving. We gotta get those reps. Push, 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 push. It's our final round here, guys. So if we get those reps, you get to be done early. If you don't, I want you working all the way until you hear the clock. 
Run it out, run it out. Oh, Laura, you have a visitor. <laughs> Good work, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. 30 more seconds. Fast, 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 fast. Come on, Rachel, you got this. Come on. Toe sky, toe sky. There you go. Keep going, Kim. You got this, Ricardo. Come on, Catherine. Good, Beth. Keep it going, Millie. Get those reps, guys. Get those reps. Good, Alicia. Keep it going, guys. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Way to crush that finisher. Final burnout of those legs. All right, let those legs kind of shake out for a hot second. Stay up on them. Just kind of go side to side. You can grab that heel, stretch out those quads. Those definitely got a lot of attention for today. Switch over to the other. We'll keep switching back and forth. Won't hold too long in between each one. Awesome work, guys. Um, with strength days, as much as you want to hydrate, you also want to make sure you're getting this per that protein in. About 25, 30-ish grams within the next 45 minutes if you can. Um, you can do that in any form if you have protein shakes that you like. Um, let's go into a forward, forward fold. So walk, walk those hands down those legs, stretching out. You'll kind of start to round your back and you'll feel a good little stretch there. And you should feel some through, the, um, through your hamstrings. Um, eggs, if you're eating egg whites, any of your breakfast meats, whatever the case may be, Greek yogurt, really work to get those, um, those grams in for your protein, guys. You wanna repair all that muscle tissue that we just like broke down. <clears throat> Good. We're going to go into a straddle. Open up the inside a little bit. Give those hips a little bit more open, give more space. Once you feel good there, we're going to sink down to one side. Let that knee kind of push apart. You'll feel better stretch through the, uh, I guess the groin area, all the way through those bands. Once you feel good there, you can shift over to the other. Awesome job. All right, guys, if you need any more stretches, let me know. Um, you guys did an amazing job this morning. Thank you. Of course.